box numbers for total punches so far through four rounds between Gutierrez and Johnson. I don't care about the amount. I don't care about the amount of punches. I care about where they're thrown right now. No, I apologize for not being able to show them. So right on cue, tell you get your wish. Yeah, because really, to me, what's important is where they're going, not how many of them right now. And for Gutierrez to get back into his fight before behind him, he's on my scorecard in this fight. Is he needs to go to the body. Why? Because Johnson is using his legs well. Take the legs away a little bit. Go downstairs, small down a little bit. Now the numbers reflecting uh, what we have seen, 16 to 30 connect advantage for Johnson. And for Johnson, he needs to use the jab, keep separation, where he can use his speed. He can't use his speed in quick quarter, close quarters. That good Gutierrez can take that speed away and use his physicality. So Johnson wants that jab, he needs separation. They can stabilize, control the tears, set all the things up. Three punch combination, capped with that left hand trying to split the guard. Good tears, is better spots for all that hand. He's got a southpaw front, right hand is usually left against southpaw, so he's pretty far behind. He needs to do something to turn this around. by Johnson. Even more hard than Gutierrez. You get angles and Johnson understands that. Gutierrez keeps his feet a little wide. When a guy keeps his feet wide, there's a slip door. When a guy keeps his feet wide, and you can get angles. That happened over in the blue corner where there's the possibility, of course, that there's still moisture from all the activities between rounds. That's where you're exactly right there, because I saw after the second round, I saw the corner of Johnson in that blue corner. They used a lot of ice, and a lot of that ice fell on the campus. So at the very least, the campus is wet over there. That's why you keep an extra towel over there, usually, when you're instructed waterman, dry up that water. That's why you often see many of the very observant referees taking a look over to each corner just before they sound the bell to start the next round. They wouldn't be completely sure that all the ice and moisture is gone. Well, you're absolutely right. So Johnson and Gutierrez coming to the halfway point. The undefeated Cuban in control of our co so far. If you haven't had the chance to see him, uh, stick around. He's something special. And there's talk of him fighting possibly for the IBF junior middleweight belt in his next fight. That is currently held by canine Cornelius Buttridge. A lot of guy who many feel can shoot right up the rankings at 154 pounds. We'll see how he looks tonight against Molina. I was mentioning it in the last round, you made a good point. You said a lot of the top referees, the referees that are on top of things, they have a throwaway towel available if they see water in the corners that dry up. You know, in basketball, they have people that are always ready to dry up when an athlete falls on a court. Yeah, the boards with the, uh, the towels. Yeah, they're right the, there uh, to do it because they know it can be dangerous. It's wet. And you put this fire in and you don't want the basketball players to slip. I think the commissions really should have somebody available in each corner where that's their job. When there's water, there's always water falling in the corners. But a lot of times you see a fight that will be influenced in a bad way because somebody does slip. And then obviously if the commissions can just have a couple guys on hand, wouldn't be a bad thing. Just another thing to kind of add to the safety of the fight. Saturday on ESPN, coverage is going to start at 5 Eastern for the NASCAR Nationwide Series of California, presented by CC's Pizza. Kyle Bush won last week in Bristol. Returning 5 Eastern Saturday on ESPN for the NASCAR Nationwide Series of California. The parts that Johnson really likes the most is his left hand and backhand. For the southpaw, where he can get power, he can turn his foot, he can put his back into that punch. He's really trying to land that punch to get the attention 
from Gutierrez. Gutierrez pulled back from that punch, faking his right side a little bit, and just pulled back and makes that left hand fall short. I think Johnson should step in a little bit. Then when Gutierrez pulls back, the left hand would still be there. Because really, Gutierrez shouldn't get away with the left. Right. Because you're still, in the, you're still in the path of the punch. You should slip in or step to the side. So, to me, the corner Johnson has to make a little adjustment and say, hey, when he pulls back on me, just take a little step forward. Make the punch a little longer. Again, you see, you know you see the physical approach of Johnson. I was talking about a couple of rounds about you know, the ball, how wide the feet are here of Gutierrez, and you can just walk around them. Well, just watch. You're going to see that, obviously, Johnson saw that. The feet are too wide. He cannot adjust, and he can do circles on Gutierrez. The 2004 Olympic silver medalist on his way to the state of course here in the second half of this fight to be in Tango as a pro. 29 years old, defected from Cuba, 395 amateur fights, and you see what a good foundation he has built his career upon. Teddy's scorecard is a shutout. Johnson in complete control. He has been right from the very start. Gutierrez has hurt his hand, his right hand, during his career during the fight. I don't think I saw any of this to hurt the heel. He got hurt right there, but as he reached in a little bit and got counted in the referee, jumping in pretty quick there. Boy, Gutierrez is going to contend that stoppage as Russell Moore stepped in right away. Seemed to be a little bit of a quick trigger to me. What do you make of it, Teddy? Look quick to me. I mean, he got hurt, he got staggered a little bit, he went back on the ropes, he had his gloves on, he understood that he needed to protect himself, weather the storm a little bit. You didn't see a lot of other punches landing after that initial one that made his leg shake, but the referee jumped in there really fast. Let's take a look at the replay. You can see the counter shot. See that right hook a little bit behind the ear. That was the southpaw right hook behind the ear. We'll get another look later. But right now, Gutierrez covers up. He's looking for the right spot. That was a quick stoppage, to be quite honest with you. Once again, the right hook behind the ear. Throws his equilibrium off. But his mind's still okay. He knows what he has to do. He's blocking. He's looking to punch in between every once in a while. And the referee, again, it looks like a quick stoppage. There's the right hook behind the ear. A punch from the south pole that's hard to deal with because an orthodox fighter doesn't see it too often. He's blocking shots. He even tried to throw back like he was conscious, Jones, that I better throw something back. Again, there's the right hook. He's blocking right now, Gutierrez. He tries to throw back just to show the referee I'm okay. Looks like a quick stoppage from our viewpoint. For the official particulars, we send it up to time is driving. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas, here is the official time. One minute, nine seconds of round number seven. A referee in charge, Russell Mora, stops the contest. And with my way of technical knockout, and still undefeated, you can the surprise Johnson. Kenny, the crowd doesn't like the quick stopping, but they should appreciate the skill of you, Del Johnson. Where is he right now in your eyes at 10 at this stage? Well, first of all, let's look at this replay again. There's the right hook behind the ear of Gutierrez. Throws his equilibrium off. Again, you see him go back, cover up, and I think you see an exhibit A once again of, of quick stoppage. So where is Johnson in your eyes, Teddy? Well, right now, of course, you got to put Gamboa first. You got to put Gamboa first, and then you're going to put Anthony Gamboa. You're talking about among the Cubans. Yeah, the amongst 